at the reflaying ceremony of the 124th death anniversary of Jose Rizal, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana said even he was kept in the dark about the inoculation of members of the presidential security group. Pressed by reporters, Lorenzana acknowledged that the vaccines were smuggled because their importation was not authorized by the FDA. Yeah, so it's smuggled because um, it's, they're not authorized. Eh? They're authorized. Eh? Because of this, Lorenzana is now asking the PSG to explain why they use the vaccines without authorization. Lorenzana is also putting a stop to all future vaccinations in the military, at least until the vaccines are approved by the FDA. All the known COVID vaccines require two doses to take effect. However, Lorenzana also defended the vaccines used on the troops, saying they were authentic, although yet unapproved. Lorenzana also cited the need to protect the president from COVID-19. In a way, the vaccine is not fake. They are 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 not fake. For the health department, the FDA has the sole authority to allow the use of new vaccines. Health spokesperson Maria Rosario Verjere told One News is the Chiefs that no one is exempted from the law. Well, the law is clear that uh, any product that we, the population here in the Philippines, will be consuming or will be using should be registered by the Food and Drug Administration. We are warning those uh, suppliers and distributors that there is accorded sanctions uh, and violations no, and sanctions uh, for this kind of acts. Philippine Foundation for Vaccination Executive Director Dr. Lulu Bravo agreed, saying any vaccination should be stopped until the FDA approval is released. Uh, as far as you are concerned, as far as your foundation is concerned, the Vaccine Foundation, uh, should government discontinue giving these unauthorized vaccines until the FDA uh, gives it a formal approval until yes. the manages a proseso? Yes, definitely. At bigyan tayo ng magandang explanation. Ang pinakamasaklap na hindi sana dapat mangyari, eh, mapolitika yung vaccine kasi ang dapat manaig yung science. Even before President Duterte revealed the early immunization of soldiers, there have already been reports alleging COVID-19 vaccinations in Binondo. Manila Mayor Isko Moreno said they are still monitoring these reports. Now, so far, uh, with the report given to me as an update, wala pa kami uh, nakitang clinic popular na individual na matukoy. Oh, so lahat chismis pa lang. The local chief executive asks Manilenos to patiently wait for the FDA approval of vaccines which could take place next year. For News 5, Justine Punsalang. We are One News.